So all of you open the textbook students, page number 48 and uh, uh, in polynomials and factorization we are in the 2.4 exercise. 2.4 exercise after completing 5 problems, uh, 6 problems we are doing 7th. Uh, so that is the factorizing model which is important model. So in that 7th we completed 3 bits, let me complete 4th bit now. So 7th, 4th bit same question, question is same, factorize y cube plus y square minus y minus 1. We have to find the factors of this. So be careful because all problems I am solving and uh, one first bit, second bit, third bit we completed yesterday and this is the fourth bit. So same model, just look at the previous problems. Uh, Yesterday what we did, how we uh, started that problem and uh, what was the steps, so just look, at it, uh, look into it. See here, take the given polynomial because if it is in x, it will be x, if it is y, y only. So, most of the problems will be in x only, but this problem is given in y. So take it, take it, take that y. This is y. Now trial method, try. We have to try some value so that it should become 0. By adding the coefficients also, we can decide which uh, for 1 it is 0 or minus 1 it is 0, but that you will get confused. Confusion. So no, just to try in the rough note, rough notes you try with one, try with minus one. In these two, most of the problems in these two, some it will be zero. So take a, in the rough you try, and if it is zero, then only you do it. Try with one. If it is not zero, try with minus one. The if in that case also if it is not zero, we have to try two or minus two like that. There is no other method. Only trial. So take a p of 1, I am writing y is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. So 1 cube is 1, 1 square is 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1 plus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, this is 0. p of 1 is 0, then what is the factor? See here, p of 1, 0 means x is equal to 1, 1 this side, x minus 1 is a factor. As for the factors theorem, see the statement of the factors theorem. If p of 1 is 0, then what is the factor? x minus 1 is a factor. p of 1 is 0, x minus 1 is a factor. This power 3 means it will have 3 factors. One factor we got by this trial method. Two more factors also we can apply this method only. Try, try, try. If you are, zero, if you are getting 0, we can get that a factor, but we don't do like that. After getting one factor, divide this by this one factor, we will get the quotient. If we take that quotient and factorize, we will get two more factors. That method we, are, we applied yesterday, now also same. Now, divide p of y by one factor, not x, this is y. The problem is in terms of y. So this is not x, y. Generally, all problems were in terms of x. So, but this is a special in terms of y. So instead of x, we write y, everything is same. x minus 1 is a factor, means y minus 1 is a factor. So divide uh, this polynomial by y minus 1. Do the division. See here. It is also part of the problem y cube plus y square minus y minus 1 is divided by y minus 1. Students, all of you do it. All of you do it. Divide. y square y square into y is y cube y square into y y cube y square into 1 y square but minus y square 
Change the signs. Plus becomes minus. Minus becomes plus. Do it all of you. y cube minus y cube 0 plus y square plus y square is 2 y square minus y minus 1. Take 2 y. 2 y into this, you fill this. into y is 2y square. 2y into 1 is minus 2y. Change the signs. Minus. This plus becomes minus. Minus becomes plus. These two cancel. 2y minus y is y minus y. Take 1. 1 into y, y. 1 into 1, 1. This is minus. This is plus. These two cancel. Remainder will be always 0 in, in this factorizing model. Remainder always 0. So you do the revision here only. And what is the quotient? What is the quotient? y square plus 2y plus 1. Factorize it. We will get two more factors. Factorize this. Factorize y square plus 2y plus 1. One into one is one. Divide into two terms. Adding we have to get two. Multiplying we have to get one. Adding two. Multiply one. See here. One y plus one y. One y, one y plus one y is two y. One into one is one. So y common here, y plus one. One common, y plus one. Y plus one common, y plus one. So y plus one, y plus one, y minus one. Three factors we got. See the procedure. See students, this is the problem. Take it as p of y. We should try for some values, whether we, we, we have to get 0. In the rough, you have to try. Take y is equal to 1. See whether it is 0 or not. If it is not 0, take y is equal to minus 1. So here, if we take one is y is equal to 1, we are getting 0. So if y is equal to 1 is 0, means y minus 1 is a factor. Then how to get the other two factors? Total, we will get three factors. To get the other two factors, divide this problem given polynomial by y minus 1. You know how to divide. Lot many problems I explained. This is the quotient. So after getting this quotient, factorize it. You know how to factorize the second degree polynomial. So 2y is 1y plus 1y. So y common y plus 1. 1 common y plus 1. y plus 1 common y plus 1. 1, 2, 3. That is the answer. Over. All of you write down. So therefore, y cube plus y square minus y minus 1. What are the factors? 1 is y minus 1. 1 is y plus 1. 1 is y plus 1. That's Three factors we got. we did on this model factorizing 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 uh, one more problem uh, let us do 10th one also same uh, based on this concept 
so first do the tenth one after that do eighth and ninth first let us do tenth one so that you will get lot of practice about this model tenth one all of you write down the tenth question tenth question y cube 2y square minus 9y plus 18 y cube minus 2y square minus 9y plus 18 students this is the polynomial first we have two questions one is first question is y minus 3 is a factor of this and second question is find the other two factors take it as p of y y minus 3 is a factor means as per the factors theorem p of 3 should be 0 if p of 3 is 0 then y is equal to 3 y minus 3 will be a factor so if p of 3 is 0 then y minus 3 is a factor so find p of 3 all of you find p of 3 find p of 3 see whether it is 0 or not if it is 0 then y minus 3 is a factor the first part is over so find p of 3 all of you find p of 3 students Three cube twenty seven three square nine two is eighteen three cube twenty seven plus eighteen plus eighteen minus eighteen cancel plus twenty seven minus twenty seven cancel zero so p of three is equal to zero means then y minus three is a factor prove p of three means p of three is equal to zero means uh, y is equal to three y is equal to three means y minus three is a factor. That is a statement of factors theorem formula. How to get the other two factors? To get other two factors, divide. Divide P of y by this function by this known factor. To get the other factors, we are always we divide the given polynomial by this known factor. So do the division y minus 3 here. y after take p of 3 it is 0 then y minus 3 is a factor that is a required proof that is proof we have to prove it is proof then divide this polynomial by y minus 3 how to divide we write here we write y minus 3 here see the division y square y square into y y cube y square into 3 3 y square change the sign plus becomes minus minus becomes plus y square minus 9y plus 18 plus y you take y into y y square y into 3 3 y y into y y square y into 3 3 y change the signs minus plus Minus 9y plus 3y is minus 6y plus 18. So minus 6. Minus 6 into y minus 6y. Minus into minus plus 6 into 3, 18. 
So this minus will become plus, plus will become minus, cancel zero. Always remainder will be zero. This is the other factor. You can write other factor or quotient. Now dip. Again split into two factors. We will get two factors for this. This is the second degree means we will get two. So you find the factors for this. Do it students. Find the factors for this. How to split that y? You got the factors for this? 1y adding we have to get 1 multiplying we have to get minus 6. What are the numbers? Adding 1 multiplying minus 6. Adding 1y multiplying minus 6. What are the numbers? Three minus two. Three minus two is one. Three into minus two is minus six. So other two factors are this. Total three factors. One is this. Already it is over in the first part. So we have to find the other two factors. Other two factors are this. So this is the process for factorizing a given polynomial. We did four problems. I explained all four problems in a detailed way. So students practice this model. This is very very important model for the exam. And uh, now we go for the other problems. All of you open your textbook. See the eighth question. Eighth question. Eighth and ninth also very very important. Eighth and ninth. All of you read the eighth question. Eighth question that is also important. All are important problems. From almost all, from third, all, all problems in this exercise are important and lengthy. Big, big problems. Ax square plus bx plus c, bx square plus ax plus c have a common factor x plus 1. See here. 
let p of x the second polynomial let us take it as f of x because if this is taken p we cannot take this also as p some other symbol so let us take this as p this as f now don't write first look at the question x plus 1 is a factor of this it is given in the problem that x plus 1 is a factor when we have x plus 1 will be a factor of this polynomial according to factors theorem if f of a is equal to 0 then x minus a is a factor this is the factors theorem statement then that means if f of 1 is 0 then what is the factor x minus 1 is a factor if f of minus 1 is 0 x plus 1 is a factor because x is equal to minus 1 we are taking x minus 1 this side x plus 1 is a factor so it is given that x plus 1 is a factor see here x plus 1 is a factor means then what should happen p of minus 1 should equal to 0 p of minus 1 is 0 then x plus 1 is a factor same i am reading in reverse if x plus 1 is a factor f of minus 1 0 but here f I explained for here, but if it is in P, you write P. So, x plus 1 is a factor means, what should be 0? P of minus 1 should be 0. P of minus 1, see here. A into x value minus 1, don't write. D into x value minus 1 plus C is equal to 0. See here, x is P of minus 1 should be 0. This is the factor theorem statement formula. When this is a factor, P of minus 1. So, A into minus 1 whole square. B into minus 1 plus C should equal to 0. See, minus 1 whole square is plus 1. Minus into minus plus 1 square is 1 into 1, 1. A into 1, A plus into minus minus b plus c. This is a equation one leave it. Same x plus 1 is also factor of this. See, see the question. All of you wants to look at the textbook. ax square plus bx plus c, bx square plus x, ax plus c have a common factor x plus 1. So that means x plus 1 is a factor of this, x plus 1 is also a factor of this. Same procedure for this also. Don't write. x plus 1 is a factor of this. Then what should happen? f of minus 1 should equal to 0. f of minus 1. x is equal to minus 1, b into minus 1 whole square, a into minus 1 plus c. Minus 1 whole square is plus 1, 1 into b, b minus a plus c. f of minus 1 it means b into minus 1 whole square, a into minus 1 plus c. Minus 1 whole square is plus 1. Minus into minus 2 times plus b into 1 b plus into minus minus a into 1 a plus c. Now, don't write. After doing this, don't write. Add 192. I am adding 192 to get the proof. So, what is the first one? a minus b plus c. Second is b minus a plus c. See here. I am adding the first equation plus second equation. So, first equation is a minus b plus c. Second equation is b minus a plus c. What is the right side? First equation right side 0. Second equation right side is 0. So, first equation written here. Second equation written here. Right side 0 plus 0. Minus b plus b cancel. See here. Plus a minus a cancel. C plus c is 2c is equal to 0 plus 0 is 0. 
c is equal to 0 by 2. 0 by 2 is 0. See the proof. See the proof in the textbook. Show that c is equal to 0. We got. And we have second proof also. c is equal to 0 is one proof. Proof. This is proof. Another proof is there. a is equal to b. Substitute the c value in the first equation or second equation. See here. Substitute c is equal to 0 in the first equation. What is the first equation? a minus b plus c is equal to 0 is the first equation. a minus b plus c is how much? 0. c is 0. Is equal to 0. So 0, 0 means we don't write. Minus b to the right side plus b. So a is equal to b. This is also proved. See the second proof. Two proofs. C is equal to 0 we have to prove. A is equal to B we have to prove. So both we have proved. This is the procedure. X plus 1 is a factor means F of minus 1. P of minus 1 should be 0. So X is equal to minus 1 we have written. This is the equation x plus 1 is a factor of fx means write uh, x is equal to minus 1. So substitute minus 1 here we got one equation. Adding these two. So plus a minus a plus b minus b c plus c 2 c is equal to 0. c is equal to 0 by 2 is 0 proof. Substitute c is equal to 0 in the first equation. So a minus b is equal to 0. a is equal to b. That's all. Second proof. First. Neatly you write down. If you don't follow once again write the question number. Question number you mentioned, just write down not understood. I will explain once again. No hurry with the syllabus. Because I, if, if you are in front of me, I can understand whether you are following or not. But you are listening through this uh, digital class. So I am not able to see your uh, all your faces and, uh, uh, and how the streaming is happening. Whether the same speed you are able to listen, any disturbance in the voice, any disturbance in the video quality. Definitely it will affect your understanding levels. Even though if you are facing any problem, if you are not understanding, just write down the question number. Uh, not understood. I, I will explain once again. Write down this. Students, copy it fast. And one and two.
here. X minus A is a factor of, is a common factor. It is given, it is stated that X minus A is a common factor. Common factor means it is a factor of this. It is also a factor of this. If it is a factor of this, factor means remainder will be, if X minus A is a factor means P of A is equal to 0. See the factors theorem. See, I am writing the factors theorem here. I wrote, we, we defined this, uh, we, we studied this factors theorem. After that only we started this exercise. Total exercise is based on the factors theorem. If P of A is equal to 0, then X minus A is a factor. This is the statement. In reverse order, if X minus A is a factor, P of A is equal to 0. Then P of A should equal to 0. If X minus A is a factor, it is given the problem. Then what should happen? P of A should equal to 0. So how to find P of A? Substitute X is equal to A. See here. X is equal to A. A square minus A minus 6 should equal to 0. A square is A square only. Limit. Limit. Same procedure here also. See here. X minus A is a factor of f of x. Then as for the factors theorem, f of a should equal to 0. Same. x minus a is a factor of this means p of a is 0. x minus a is a factor of this means f of a is equal to 0. f of a. a square 3 into a minus a t is equal to 0. Second equation. So how I have, question is find a value. See here. Find the a value. After getting these two equations, huh? see here. First equation minus second equation. First equation minus second. A square a minus 6 minus second equation. First equation a square a minus 6, a square minus a minus 6 minus second equation right side 0 minus 0. Right side 0 only. First equation minus second equation. Open the brackets a square minus a minus 6 minus a square minus 3a plus 18. Minus a, plus, minus a square plus a square cancel. Minus 3a minus 3a minus 4a. 18 minus 6 is 12. So plus 12 that side minus 12. Minus minus cancel. a is equal to 12. It is into mix. It will be in the denominator. 4 ones are 4 threes are. a is equal to 3 answer. The question is find a value. That is a is equal to 3. See here x minus a is a factor means p of a is equal to 0. Substitute x is equal to a. a square minus a minus 6 is equal to 0. Leave it. One equation. Same way we got another equation. This my 1 minus 2. This equation minus this equation. Right side it is 0 only. So open the brackets. Minus a square minus 3a minus into minus plus 18. Plus a square minus a square cancel. Minus a minus 3a minus 4a. 18 minus 6 is 12, 12 that side minus 12, minus minus cancel, 12 by 4 is 3. Right. Students, this exercise is over. Uh, 